Once we have Newton's first law under our belt, it practically begs for Newton's second law. Newton's first law tells us when the net force is zero, there's no acceleration. And also that must mean that when there is acceleration, that means there is a net force. What we're dying to know then is how does exactly this net force correlate to an acceleration? Or how can you link an acceleration to a net force? Newton's second law tells us how that works. Exactly how does a force affect motion? Experience tells us that the harder you push on something, the more likely it is to accelerate. Experience also tells us that the more massive something is, the less likely it is to accelerate from a given force. And Newton's second law expresses that in the simplest possible way. It tells us that the acceleration of an object is equal to the net force acting on it divided by the object's mass. It's sometimes written as F equals MA. I prefer it the way it's written above, A equals F over M, because that makes it more clear what's cause and effect. So in this, A is the acceleration of the object, sigma F, the sum of all forces on the object, and M is the object's mass. It's important to remember that this sigma F is the sum of all forces acting on the object. The unit of force we'll call the Newton, named after Isaac Newton, of course, and it's going to be defined as the force required to accelerate a mass of one kilogram at a rate of one meter per second per second. Notice that when we have this unit, the Newton, when you write it out, it's not capitalized, but the symbol for it is capitalized. And this is consistent with all SI units named after people. The name of the unit is not capitalized, but the abbreviation for the unit is. How much is a Newton? Well, the unit has to be just one kilogram times one meter per second per second. So if we have, if we're accelerating one kilogram at this one meter per second per second, what is a Newton? It turns out it has to be one kilogram meter per second squared. So we can substitute this kilogram meter per second squared for Newton anytime it shows up. So how is acceleration related to net force? First of all, notice that they're always in the same direction. Since acceleration is net force divided by mass, net force is a vector, mass is a scalar, and so the acceleration vector and the force vector have to be in the same direction because the mass is always positive. And the only way you're going to get the vector direction changing from a scalar multiplication is if you multiply it by a scalar that's negative. Mass is always positive, one over mass is always going to be positive, so acceleration and force have to be in exactly the same direction always.